So you're hell bent on becoming a strategist and you're thinking to yourself, shit, what now? Well, in this episode, I talked to Julian Cole. He's a strategy trainer and founder of the Planning Dirty Academy, which provides a range of courses for strategists at all levels, as well as resources to help you advance within your career in strategy. Prior to that, he held senior strategy roles at BBH and BBDO New York. So he knows a thing or two about what makes a good strategist, but as well as what you can do as a budding young strategist to break into the industry and make an impression on somebody like him. We talk about how to combat things such as imposter syndrome, but then also talk about simple structures that you can do in your job search to help put you ahead of other people and how it's not about skill, but more so mindset, especially as you're looking to break into the industry. Please like, share and subscribe below. And as always, enjoy the show. Julian, thank you so much for coming on to Shit Right Now. How are you today? Yeah, doing very well, doing very well. Even though we're just, we've gone into another lockdown here. I'm in Melbourne, um, but I'm feeling positive, fingers crossed. By the time this comes out, we'll probably know whether that's been good or bad. So <laughs> Exactly right, exactly right. Well, fingers crossed for you, sir, and uh, hope you're, uh, it looks like you're in a lovely setting, so at least you'll be quite productive for the next few days. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. It's the uh, <laughs> same setting every day, so. That's it. That's it. So, Julian, for those who are looking to break into the industry, can you please tell us a bit more about who you are and what you do? Yeah. So, my name's Julian Cole. I run the Planning Dirty Academy, which helps strategists who are looking to learn the fundamentals of strategy, um, learn them and then kind of excel in their career. And it kind of goes through three stages when you're at the kind of beginning as a strategist, then as a strategy director, then when you're heading up strategy and the education is based on those three levels. So I do that. Uh, previously, I was a strategy consultant to leading brands like Uber, Facebook, Apple, Disney. And then previously, I was the head of communications planning at BBDO and BBH in New York. And they're kind of ran big teams um, of planners, I think about 17 at BBDO and kind of won over a hundred creative and strategy awards, was doing Super Bowl commercials, um, big launches, launched the PlayStation 4. Uh, so have had a bit of experience everywhere. And I started my career in Australia, in uh, Sydney, was working in Sydney for a couple of years and then moved over. Just on that, when you were in your roles at BBDO and BBH, when you were hiring junior planners of people looking to break into the industry, what were you looking for? What sort of characteristics caught your eye? Yeah, so it was really people who were kind of proactive. Um, they were the people we met. A lot of the people we hired were um, through our internship program. So at BBDO, there was an internship program and the people who really excelled during that internship were kind of pulled in or then they were coming in through different departments. And I think the proactiveness really came out there. If you really wanted to be in strategy and you're in account management, then you really had to be quite proactive and really chase that down. So that they were the kind of qualities that I was looking for. And then also someone who was good with uh, diplomacy or politics understanding um, agencies are full of politics mm -hmm. um, how good are you at navigating through them uh, and also your client side i think with strategy as a job it's 50 percent about being good at the craft of strategy and then 50 percent being good at um, the diplomacy and that was kind of the mix that i was looking for yeah brilliant and of those people that you hired what was what was one of the smartest things you've ever seen a someone do being proactive being proactive i think there was probably the standout for me was um a girl called ellie goldsmith who kind of went and she was proactive enough to kind of start um building some white papers out for our team so we we're doing comms planning she knew that we needed to show our kind of digital chops so she proactively took on a couple of white papers that she wrote and research pieces that she did for um, BBDO. And so I always thought that that was really um, like great just to see someone go out and kind of find opportunities and know what we we're looking for and try to help our cause. So I thought that was really helpful. Yeah, brilliant. And of course, the 
clients would love that because it's validation behind the theory, right? Yeah, totally. And it was just positioning us how we wanted to be positioned. BBDO was seen as like a very traditional TV agency. And having these papers out about kind of new technology and where the industry was going really helped um, reposition us from being kind of like the dusty old agency to being more progressive, which was also my remit. Yeah, brilliant. And um, for those sort of young planners looking to break in, what have been, what would be your top tips for them looking to break into the industry? Yeah, so I've actually got like a guide for anyone who wants to break into the industry. I wrote a LinkedIn post on it, which is the first six months of trying to break into a role as a strategist. The first thing you need to do is there's a free white paper by Stephen King. Um, he wrote the JWT planning guide. And if you Google that, you'll find the PDF. First thing is, if you're interested in strategy, you've got to read that. It's literally a two hour read and you get your head around it. Then the second thing is there's another great book called Truth, Lies and Advertising, which is like the Bible for most planners. So if you read those two books, the Truth, Lies and Advertising, that's a bit more, it's about 10 hours. But if you read those two books, it really will give you an idea of what a strategist actually does in their day to day. Because I find probably when I started in strategy, I had no idea what it was. Um, but I think those two books are really good. Then it's about practicing the actual craft. And uh, there's enough information out there about how you actually write a creative brief. I've got a course, a free mini course on how to write a get a creative brief, which is the get who to buy formula. Um, which is a very simple formula of get uh, your consumer group who the consumer problem to the goal and then buy the single message you're using. That's the formula of the brief. It's kind of like a fill in the blanks formula. And if you learn that, um, and you should be able to learn that within the course, and then proactively um, actually go about and choose some brands that you think you would like to kind of understand something you know about, I think is usually a good thing. And then build your own portfolio. That is the best thing you can do as a strategist if you want to get into a strategy role. The worst thing you can do is just ask people, um, oh, can I can I go for a coffee? Can you can I pick your brains? No one's brains wants to be picked. <laughs> That's so that. true. <laughs> um, but if you go to them, saying, hey, I've worked on one of your clients or I want to show you a creative brief that I wrote for one of your clients or I'd love you to evaluate or give me some feedback on my work. That's a much easier meeting for a strategy director or a strategist or someone even hiring strategists to take. And that will really show them, um, again, back to that first point, that you're proactive and that you're actually committed to um, trying to get a job in strategy. One thing I talk to my guests about on the show is about shit what now moments. So times they've faced hardship within the industry or within their career and what have you. And I'm curious to know what has been your shit what now moment and, and how did you overcome it? Yeah, I think there's probably been a couple in my career. Um, I think the first one was really when I went to uh, BBH. Uh, so I'd moved from Australia to New York. I was trying to I wanted to learn from the best over there and work in kind of a bigger market. And I got a job as a digital strategy director. And I think I felt a massive amount of imposter syndrome. Um, I just felt like I didn't deserve this title of strategy director. I'd never been taught strategy. And so what I actually did is I hid my strategy from everyone. I kind of was really embarrassed with my work because here I was at one of the best strategic agencies in the world they don't actually they're not in australia so it's sometimes hard to work that out but i was one of the best agencies in the world for strategy and i had never been taught how to do strategy i kind of learnt on the job so i kind of took a little bit in here then there and my bosses were happy with me because i you know clients were happy with the work we were producing but here i was at a uh, uh, now at an agency that was you know, knew the fundamentals and I hid myself for a year. You know, I called myself a number of different things. I said, oh, maybe I'm a creative strategist and oh, I'm just a digital strategist. I don't need to learn the other type of strategy. And I hid myself. And what I realized, I was stalling my career. It was kind of flatlining out. 
And what I realized was I'm not, I was going backwards. Um, there were people going ahead, further forward. And, and what I realized was my imposter syndrome was holding me back. And so at that moment, um, it's when I kind of reached out to my boss and, and kind of was had a pretty honest conversation with him and said, I actually have never been taught strategy and I need to learn the fundamentals. And um, he kind of took me in, taught me the fundamentals. And that's when I started to really learn, not pretending like, not kind of hiding away and, and hoping I'd never get caught, but being a little bit open about that. And learning the fundamentals completely changed my career. That was when I was able to go on, get promoted to head of comms planning and then take on a bigger agency in BBDO. And so that was a really, I guess that's my shit what now moment was like, am I going to just stay as this, you know, digital strategist and not lose the digital or social title? Am I going to mm. stay in that small spot or am I going to actually learn this discipline, learn and craft and grow? And it was a real crossroads for me. And I, I think I chose the right thing of really learning the fundamentals. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I was once told there's nothing more fulfilling than backing yourself. And I think, um, I mean, obviously chatting to you now, you seem incredibly fulfilled and I'd encourage any junior strategy for anyone in the industry just to back yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, uh, you, you regret, you regret it if you don't try it, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Julian, as we're drawing towards the end of this interview, was there anything else you wanted to add? Uh, I think with a strategist, it's often hard to get the job straight away. So if you're thinking about um, becoming a junior strategist, just know there's not that many positions available. Um, there are other routes into it though. So a lot of people come through social media, community management, they go on to social strategy, or they come through account management. So although your first job out of university might not be um, strategy, don't let that hold you back. Yeah, fantastic. And I couldn't agree with that more. Being in the account management vertical, if you like, has been so it's, it's a great place to start because it gives you you're got a helicopter view of everything. You know, you learn how to interact with clients initially, which is a skill that you'll need to carry on throughout your career, even as a strategist. Totally. Yeah. And, and account management's great because it gives you such a great overview of the whole process. And that's such an advantage going in as a strategist too. So yeah, love it. Brilliant. Well, Julian, where can people find more info about you? So uh, Julian Cole on LinkedIn, on Twitter, Instagram by Julian Cole, or also the Planning Dirty Academy. Oh, brilliant. Julian, thank you so much for coming on today. It's been incredibly insightful, as it should be, coming from a strategist. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I can't believe I've, I've actually sat and had a conversation with you. It's been, I've been following you for a while. <laughs> Great. Thanks so much, Chris.